Yeah, this is Bang Bang Well. Uh, something happened to my mate the other day. Uh, I'm going to tell you later, but I'm going to tell you about things that's happened to me over the over the years. Same sort of similar thing. I'd come out of prison, well, I don't know, uh, the 90s. Um, I lived, uh, my mate of mine, uh, Mickey, got me a place in Paddington, um, some, Sunderland, Sunderland's Avenue, and I think it was 144 Sunderland's Avenue, something like that. Really nice sort of bed sit, really. Uh, beautiful, uh, all balloons on the door, uh, bed up in the ceiling, uh, beautiful kitchen, beautiful bathroom, toilet, everything's stunning. Nice, big, open, playing front room because your, your bedroom's up in the air, yeah? Loved it. Enjoyed it. So um, went to a couple of clubs around there uh, with Mickey and a few other people. And one night I decided, uh, I said, so I got a cab, uh, got to, uh, off at of Edgewell Road, Shops all open down at Edgewell Road. I thought myself, I'd go do a little bit of shopping because I'm going to cook something when I get in. Yeah, this is about two, three o'clock in the morning. Goes in there and walking around the shop, and I also notice this girl. I don't know if I said this before, but all of a sudden, I notice this girl. She's stunning, mate. I mean, she's a prostitute, but she's stunning. But I didn't know she was on the ground, yeah. But she had a big tattoo on her face, big tattoo on her face. Seriously, big spider's web. And I started talking to her, and she said, oh, she said, you haven't got any fags, have you? I said, I bought her 20 fags. I said, I said, I said, so she went, oh, can you get me a drink? I said, you've got a bottle of wine. I said, what are you doing? She said, no, she said to me, you want a, do you want a bit of fun? So I went, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, sweet. I said, how much do you charge? She said, oh, 100 pounds, 100 pounds, something like that. I said, yeah, well, come back to my place. She went, oh, no, no, no. I said, come at my place, son. He's around the corner. I said, listen, I'll just come out of prison. Tired, I'll just come out of prison. Got into the girl. So she said, oh, I'm up for that. So he went back, back to my place. Had a good night. Had a good night. I didn't know it was on Brown, though. Had a good night. Uh, in the morning, come down the stairs, cooked a bit of breakfast, and she kept spewing up in the toilet, being sick. I said, what's up? She said, oh, I'm sick, you know. She said, I said, oh, what's up, man? She said, I'm on the Brown. I thought, oh, what? And there's me doing all sorts of things that night, have you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought, no! Got to go to the chemist, got to go to the clinic now, mate. Get it sorted out, you know what I mean? So she went, oh, I need something, I need something. I'm, I'm really ill, I'm sick, I'm going to, I'm so, I need something. Please get me something. I said, so I knew some people around the area, so I phoned her. I said, do you know anybody? She said, yeah, yeah, give me a phone number. The guy said, yes, mate. He said, come down Ezra Road, Ran by Victoria, uh, Victoria Gambling Club, yeah. Went down there, got in there, got the got the geezer, give me, give me a. But it was a long, I was a long time uh, sorting this thing out, yeah. So she, I've left her for about what an hour, three quarters of an hour. Gone back. I'm walking now from Victoria Sporting Club, Victoria Gambling Club, back to Simon's Avenue, which is quite a bit of a way, really. What half a mile, mile. Got down there, got to my gaff. Um, put the key in the door. Now, don't forget, I balanced, I balanced the front door before I went out, yeah, so she can't get out. But I'm on the first floor, on the basement, uh, on, on the first floor. When I got in my place, television's gone. <laughs> Video's gone. Money's gone. Watch is gone. Bracelet's gone. The only thing I had is my chain on my neck, yeah, and it's all gone. Everything's everything's gone that is valuable in that place. And what she'd done, she's phoned whoever she phoned up and all gone through my window that leads straight onto the road. I was gutted. <laughs> I was gutted. <laughs> there was a fence there because the people down the stairs basement was a fence, but I only got it, they'd done it anyway. Fair play to them, I thought, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fair play. But, now I'm looking for her, you know what I mean? Because I think it's a liberty. I don't really want her. I want the one who's done it. The one who's pulled up in the car or the van and done what he's done. So he must be a pimp or whatever. So anyway, I tell a few of my pals, uh, and my mates, one of my mates said, yeah, yeah, I know the girl. I know the girl, mate. Uh, she lives down near Church Street, yeah? So anyway, so goes down near Church Street. I'm looking for her, right? And she comes out of this fucking place. So I get out of the car, she shits herself. She says, I said, listen, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What you took, 
it's irrelevant, right? But it was a liberty. Who was the person that was you was with that done it? Oh, I can't tell you this. Please, I can't I'll get killed. You know? I said, no, you won't. Tell me who it is. So she told me where he was and who he was, and I found him, and I just smashed him to bits. <laughs> we smashed, we, we did, yeah, we smashed him to bits, mate, you know? And, you know, and I was just, it gets to a stage where some people like that who put themselves on girls and do that to girls anyway, they need to be fucking well obliged. This guy got well obliged, and you're done, but he got smashed to pieces. He'll never do it again. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Anyway, this is funny, isn't it? So that's one girl that's done me, that's done me, in, that's nicked my money. It's like comical, isn't it? That they, that, that it happens, yeah? And another one, yeah? Really, really funny one. I'm in Birmingham. I've just had a right, right tickle in Birmingham. Real tickle. But I've gone to Birmingham to my mate to give him what I've got and him to sell bits and pieces for me, yeah? And give me cash. I'll go and buy, go, go to the auctions, i buy myself then a Volvo, no, sorry, a Saab, a Saab convertible, you know? Then it was quite nice in the days, yeah? Bought the Saab convertible, cash, went to the auctions, nice. He's given me a place, a flat. Flat's Beautiful, stunning flat. Front door, catches way, stairs, absolutely stunning. Well, I'll give him stuff to sell. He, you know, he's got to give me a nice place. Give me a nice place, but also, what I've done before this, I went to a hotel before he got to this flat, yeah? Went to a hotel, and whilst I was in the hotel, when I walked in and booked in, and it's late at night, there was a guy on the, on the foyer there, they gave me a book, and uh, in the book was all prostitutes, all book girls, yeah? I went, yes, I do. I'm on a snozzle as well. I'm on a gear. Goes to the room, finally girls up, one girl, two girls, get up, just enjoying myself, getting them on a Coke, just enjoying it, yeah? Spending money, £100, £200, who cares? I've got bundles of dough, don't care. I'm just having a good, good time. Then he says to me, listen, he says, get out of the hotel, I've got your place, got your nice little flat. Gives me the fact I just told you, the front door, step bump up, go there. I'm still on the gear. But I've got plenty of stuff, I ain't bothered. I'm on a snozzle, I've got plenty of money, I'm happy. But it's like everything, isn't it? We don't want to be good, we rob someone, or rob whatever we robbed. We don't want to be robbed. It's a funny old game, isn't it? So I'm going through the book, I've had a few girls up there, and they get on the gear. And they sat and they have given me good money and they've gone, well, anyway, gone through the book and I see this black girl, a lot of black girls, yeah? I see this black girl, she was absolutely stunning. Stunning! I thought, I've got to get on the phone to her, mate. So I phoned her up and I said, bump, told her who I was. She said, in a Belmont accent, I can't do it today, but tomorrow I'll do it with time. She'll come around any time. Be nice, be nice late evening, be better than in the daytime, yeah, because you need to sleep better than you, isn't it? She said, okay, I'll see how much you charge. She said, 250 quid. I went, listen, come and I'll give you 300 quid. You know what I mean? She said, oh, really? I said, yeah. Doorbell goes, I'm all out of my nut, but I'm smart as well, smelling nice, go down the stairs. There she is, stunning. Fucking hell, stunning. She went to me, um, listen, I can see you've you know, you've had a bit of gear on it. I said, yeah. I said, do you like a bit of stuff? She said, yeah, yeah, I like it. love it, yeah. She said, look, um, I'm straight at the minute. Um, I don't want to come upstairs, get on it, and forget my cash, and this, that, and the other, or whatever, anything that could happen, yeah? Can you go have my cash first? Go have my cash so I can put it in my car, and I know it's safe. Yeah, 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 I love. But give her money for her. Rush upstairs. Well, I don't, didn't expect her. Rush upstairs, give her the money, come downstairs, bump the other. Come down. <laughs> I'm standing there. I'm standing there like an idiot, you know what I mean? Stowing up my nut. Can't believe it. She's gone. She's gone. Oh, I'm gutted. It's like, you, you know, it's deflate. You're deflated, aren't you? You can't believe it. That you've seen this girl. You, anyway, so I found my mate. I said, listen, this girl's bum, bum, bum. He said, he said, I know the agency. Leave it to me. I went, don't. 
hurt or nothing like that, you know what I mean? Just find out why. Do you know what I mean? That's all. So he phones me up, the girl's there, and she's crying. And I said, oh, listen to this, boy. I said, I don't know where he done it. She said, oh, I've got no money, I'm skint, you know, and I just thought I'd quit you a Londoner. Come from, you can see you come from London and you're on coke and this, that and the other. You know, I said, listen, I'll give you another 200 quid on top of that 300 quid. All right, come, come over. All right, she went, really? I said, yeah, nothing's going to happen, come over. And she come over and I had the best night ever. She was stunning. She was out of this world, yeah. But it happens, doesn't it? It all happens where you can get had over, you know what I mean? And it's embarrassing. I went to a place called the Radisson Edwardian Hotel in Heathrow Airport. Had a big suite in there, yeah? Massive suite in there. Uh, <laughs> took a girl with me, beautiful girl, yeah, black girl. And she, when I went there, Met her, a bottle, big bottles of champagne, massive wrap with baths, uh, jacuzzi, everything. She calls her mates over, yeah. Her mates come in, I'm on a crack as well, don't we get now? I'm on a crack really bad. I'm on a coke, on a crack, I'm just at my nut, yeah. I've done 14 grand, 14,000 pounds in three days. They must have nicked so much stuff off me. It was unbelievable. Just. There's no way that I'd done that sort of thing. But she had listen, to have a good time is a good time. But when they start nicking your dough and nicking your gear, it's doing get the fish in it. Anyway, I come out of that hotel, I never had enough money. Seriously, I never had enough money to get owned by a cab. And a lot of them cabs in them hotel places, they ain't taking you anywhere, like unless they know they're safe money. And them cards in them days wasn't about as such, yeah. Uh, only people that had cars had the American Express and all them sort of things, you know what I mean? Big time Charlie Potatoes, these places. And anyway, so I only had cash, but I had no cash. I had about, well, I don't know, a couple of pounds. So now, they only taken me. I said, look, give me a drink. Yeah, they don't trust me. I'm out my nut. So I have to walk from the airport, Radisson, Edwardian, right, to Brentford. <laughs> To Brentford. It's like 10 miles. And I've got to walk. I'm out on that. But I'll get there in the end. Anyway, um, these girls had me over here. Yeah? I was really pissed off about it. So I phoned the one I was with. I said, listen, you fucked me up. You took a lot of money off me, a lot of gear off me as well. So she said, I only took a penny. She said, but I know who has. Yeah. But she got it back. She got four grand back for play. Fair play with her, mate. She got four grand back for me, you know what I mean? But they had me over. They nicked me money. You, me. you can't trust these girls, mate. Can't, you can't trust them. You know that, isn't you? Anyway, but this happened. The only reason I'm doing this really telling you about it is this happened the other day to someone I know, yeah? Someone I know uses a firm called Adult World or Adult Work. Adult Work, Adult World, something like that. Adult Work. And he gets quite a few girls from this this uh, this thing, yeah. And they're all <laughs> they're all old, 45, 50 years of age. And he's he doesn't need to do that. He's melted up, he's got plenty of money. Why would he want to do that? You can have a good time. Anyway, I don't think he can handle the young girls, don't be too much from yeah, so he's got to take the old ones. Anyway, he's on the phone. And he's looking at this girl, and she's stunning. But you can only see uh, certain parts of her body. You can't see the. You can't, but he loves all that kinky dress shit, black suspenders and all that shit, yeah? Crisscross fucking stockings and all that crap. You know what I mean? I think he's got a mother thing about it. Mother thing about it. <laughs> loves a mum thing, thing, you know what I mean? So anyway, he gets on the phone to this girl. And this woman, yeah, 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 yeah. So he gets on the phone and wants to know where she is. He only has for a couple of hours, maybe an hour, maybe that. He's going to give her 250 quid for whatever, for whatever, how long she waits, goes there for. She's about 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> so his place is absolutely stunning. 
Phones would go up, where are you? She said, I'm down the road, I'm lost, I can't find it. He thinks he's a bit suspicious, you can't find the gaff. It's easier, not easy to find, but if you Google it and all that, you'll find it. So she eventually comes there, she phones him up. He opens his big electric gate. She doesn't pull him in the car. He says, come in. He says, no, no, that's no, okay. It's a cab. I've got to pay him some money anyway. So she comes up, right, and she says, he comes in, puts her coat on her side, and he notices that she's not nice. So he's telling me, she's more like a good sort, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's got to say that, hasn't he? But what happened to him, yeah? So she comes in, puts a coat on the side. He's, a, a coat's got all his hairs on it, like cat's hairs, dog's hairs, is the white state. He's telling me, yeah? He's got to say this to me, hasn't he? So all of a sudden she says to him, can I have my money? He says, yeah, I always get the girl's money up front. Anyway, he said, no, I like to do that. Yeah, no problem. So he gives the money up front. <laughs> so then she says, oh, I've got a dog in the car, you know, in the car down, down the bottom. He said, well, bring the car in. He said, no, she said, no, I've got a cab. He's got, a, he's got the dog in the back, of the back of the car. It's an estate car. He's got a dog in the back. He's got one of dog things, yeah? Oh, she said, okay. So he said, um... What, what do you want? She said, well, can I have some water for the dog? Or something, give the dog some water because the dog's a bit ill, yeah? And I'll be here for a couple of hours, I suppose. So he's thinking, yeah, yeah. But she's telling me, he's telling me, he's going to give her the money and tell her to go anywhere because he's really ugly. <laughs> ah, he's already seen her in that adult world. He's already seen her, but he reckons he's only seen the legs. Of course he did. You know what I mean? Anyone will get away with that anyway. So anyway. She goes down to the thing to give the dog some water. So he's out and sitting, standing at the door. <laughs> What's she do? Shum! She's gone, mate. She leaves her coat there, he's gone. He says to me, I was so happy, mate. I'd have given her that money anyway. I'd have given her 250 quid just to fuck her off. Of course she would have done, mate. Of course she would have done. <laughs> she was really ugly, wasn't she? Yeah, I was really ugly. And she was a lot older than I thought she was. How old did you think she was then? Well, she looks about 60. You know, and she's telling me she's about 45, 50. <laughs> Why would anybody who's got lots of money have a woman around your house who's 45, 50 years of age? They're played out, mate. It's all over. <laughs> it's some of that, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway. Uh, he's uh, he said to me, oh, no, no, I'm not bothered about that. Of course, he is. No, he ain't bothered about the money, but <laughs> she, I bet she's a work good sort, you know, and he's gutted. Anyway, this is uh, Bang Bang My Hill. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe these things happen, you know, but they do happen. So, really, you know, on your comments, uh, there must be people out there that had the same thing. Let me know, yeah, sweet. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, yeah, tell me, yeah, bye.